Since last Thursday, Lulabelle Sykes of Petaluma has gone viral after claiming the school closed her mic for fear that she would criticize the school's handling of a sexual assault against her. She blames Principal David Stirrett. Well, now there are 7,000 signatures on the CARE2 website asking for his removal. Let's begin with the woman who began that petition. Women need to be believed, victims need to be believed, and we The fact that Lily Sloan and Lulabelle Sykes have never met is not nearly as important, they say, as the principal about Lulabelle's former principal at Petaluma High School. Here's the moment someone pulled the plug on her valedictorian speech. Even when some people on this campus, those same people... Lulabelle told ABC7 Today she'd never planned to name the student who she says assaulted her, but the school did not believe it. When they cut her mic for going off script, she left the podium and continued about the school needing to take sexual assault claims more seriously as the crowd urged her on. By telephone today, Lulabelle told ABC7 she could not have asked for a better outcome and would do it again. As to the 7,000 signatures and growing that demand her former principal's removal, I would say if he ha if he doesn't change his policies and behaviors like he hasn't been, and if he doesn't take what happened as a wake-up call, then he either needs to be retrained or removed. It is the word of a recent graduate versus that of a school district that has defended its right to cut the mic and said little, citing student privacy. For her supporters, like Lily Sloan, the fact that a principal's career might be in jeopardy comes with the turf. Yeah, and there's a woman's mental health on the line, and there's, you know, a much bigger picture that's going on, and he's, he's the one in power who should have helped her. Tonight, some of Lulabelle's friends will read a statement from her at a school board meeting. We did reach out to the Petaluma City School District today. No response from the superintendent's office, no response from board members, no response from the high school.